Hi everyone! I know it's been a very, very, very long time since I last filmed a video, but I wanted to come on here and um, talk about how I got my baby to breastfeed again um, at almost three months of age, um, and that's pretty late. And I, at the time, I was very stressed out about um, the whole breastfeeding situation so I wanted to make a video and share on how I got baby Rena to latch on again so this is baby Rena look how chunky she's kind of in a bad mood right now so um, I might have to bounce her around while I explain. I'm gonna first start off with how everything started. So she was born on March 4th and uh, she quickly latched on uh, but it was very painful um, and people tell you that if it's painful the latch is wrong um, but that is not necessarily true. I that Nobody tells you this but it could hurt for multiple reasons and mine was being that I had very flat nipples <laughs> and um, that can really prevent a baby from latching on really well so I guess it does have to do with latch but it's not necessarily the baby itself not being able to latch well but it can actually be you and your body that prevents you from um, having a good breastfeeding experience and so anyway um after three days we actually had to go back to the hospital because she had jaundice which is yellow to the skin um and she had to go under blue light um to prevent any other damage so we went back to the hospital and at that time she was under the blue light for such a long time and so um they said that we should give her formula um, just so then the more she eats the faster the jaundice will go away and as well as since she's we have to keep her under the light for as much as possible it might be easier to just um, bottle feed her under the light instead of taking her out and breastfeeding her and I was totally fine with that because breastfeeding was a bit painful at the time and during the time she was under the light that's when I first um, started pumping I did not know that I had to pump um, or I should pump and so the nurse helped me with that and my milk supply came in uh, while she was in the hospital because of that situation it kind of got me uh, not lazy but thinking oh if I can feed her um, from a bottle without pain why don't I do that and um, I did talk to a lactation consultant at, at the hospital and she did say that breastfeeding does create a closer bond with your baby but the product the milk is the same from um, breastfeeding and um, bottle feeding um, and so after I came back from the hospital with her for the second time I was breastfeeding her but not as much I think she was like 90% bottle fed so I was exclusively pumping and then she latched at nighttime only um, and then after a while she didn't latch on so I started using this nipple shield and they gave this to me at the hospital too because I said it was painful um, so there's these things called a nipple shield that looks like this. You pop it on for people who have inverted nipples, flat nipples, or if the baby's having a hard time latching on. And it worked. Um, this was my saving grace. Uh, <laughs> I used this. I have I had like a couple lined up next to my bed. So at nighttime, I would put this on and then breastfeed her. Um, and that worked for a good two months. Okay, sorry. She's a little bit moody, a little bit tired, so I'm gonna have to rock her while I talk. But um, all was great um, until all of a sudden um, she stopped latching on, even when I used these nipple shields. Um, I thought it was maybe the smell. I smelled them and it kind of smelled soapy, so I, I, 
that night I went to go get new ones at Target and I was like, okay, we're all good. She cried again, screaming her head off that night. Um, so then I started to panic. Um, I bought another brand that was shaped a little differently from the other one. Um, I thought maybe this will work. It did not work. Um, and then I panicked even more <laughs> and I bought this one which was worth like $20, the Hakka brand. But I was like, okay, this is definitely going to work because it's literally like a bottle nipple and she kind of latched on and then she started screaming her head off because um my flow wasn't as fast as um oh my flow wasn't as fast as um sorry i'm gonna get a pacifier my flow wasn't as fast as bottles she was used to but it was so strange that all of a sudden she started screaming her head off um in the middle of the night and i was getting so stressed out because i thought all oh, the neighbors are gonna wake up my husband woke up my mom everybody literally everybody can hear her screaming at night so i was literally going to give up and i was gonna just um bottle feed her at night and if i run out of all the supply that i stocked up for her then i guess i would have to start formula um but then I started doing some research online and I watched a ton of YouTube videos on how people got their baby to latch on. Um, but they were all the babies were so young. They were talking about like babies that were like three weeks old. And she was already almost three months old. And so I was like, okay, I was losing hope at that moment. And then I talked to a old friend of mine and she said that she actually got um, her baby to latch on again at four months old. So then that was like a turning point for me. And I thought, okay, if she can get her baby to latch on at four months old, I think I, I can try one last time. I also found this lady's video on YouTube that made me really um, hopeful for, for my breastfeeding journey. I'm going to try best to explain the couple things I did for her to get her to latch on um, and so the first the first day we tried she, she was screaming her head off all day um, but I just want to reassure you that your baby is fine um, they are much stronger than you think at this age already and so she was just crying knowing that if she continues to cry I will give her the bottle um, because look at how chunky she is. She was, she's not starving to death. She was just um, using her cry to get me to give her what she wants, um, which is normal. But you just have to like kind of shut shut out the screaming and just go with it if, as long as that's what you want. Um, and so that day I took away the bottle completely. This is what the other lady did on her YouTube video she completely took away the bottle um and this is how i fed her um i used this syringe you put some milk in it and you just try to get her to latch you're ready to latch and then number one thing they're um they're mad about is the flow they're mad that it's not coming out right away so what you'll do is you put your baby on the nipple and you'll support this through slowly through the side of their mouth while they're latched on so they think oh milk is coming out right away it doesn't work every single time so i would say don't give up um she kind of got tricked along and was like oh milk is coming out um but after a while she realized it wasn't the same so she gave up and she started screaming again so just be patient with the process um i just kept doing that when she was crying with her head off I would just stop trying and I would just soothe her she would just um, she would eventually fall asleep because she was tired from crying and then once she woke up I would try again and that was the first day and um, to tell you the truth she did latch on the first day that I tried 
kids um, and maybe your baby might not but I would say keep going as long as you feel comfortable and another thing that I noticed was that since we were everybody was giving her the bottle um, she was not used to being um, cradled like this um, she would get very uncomfortable um, getting her head like locked in that position I guess and so I would recommend you not to try to get her or get your baby to latch on that way. Another YouTube video I watched was um, this lady. She put her pillow on her bed and she actually just leaned on to her baby. Just because when you feed your baby with a bottle, um, sorry, I don't have a nipple, but you kind of angle it this way right you're not used to being under and being in that um, breastfeeding position so just like how you would angle the bottle to the baby's bottle you would angle your whole body for them um and that's when she latched on for the first time so i put her down on the bed on top of a pillow and i i went down onto her instead of bring her head to you and that worked she was like latched she latched on and I was speechless. I was literally about to cry. And she only latched on for about like five, uh, 30 seconds, but that was a start. And the second time I tried, it didn't work. I mean, I thought, it's okay. It's, it's, um, it's a process. And, and then the third time she was able to do it. I was scared to death for that night. Um, but my husband reassured me that everything is fine and it was fine all three times she did latch on even though she was screaming for a little bit and the second day went, went much better and the, by the third day she was completely latched on it was very stressful each time though I would stress out a lot before it um, and she wouldn't latch on the best but she did and she didn't have a bottle and this was all established one week before she turned three months old and for a whole month and a half she went without having a single bottle um, and she is now for four months and a half um, and we gave her two bottles so far since then um, I was very scared to give her a bottle because I just didn't want her to um, enjoy the bottle more than <laughs> breastfeeding um, but she was fine she took the bottle um, and after that she latched on like usual and I was super happy um, and yeah that's my tips for you lastly I would say just don't give up if, if breastfeeding is something um, you really want to do and like I said before when I first breastfed her, it was so painful. My nipples were bleeding, um, but right now it doesn't hurt. That really changes the way the baby latches. And I think she actually learned how to latch on much better that way. And sorry, she is so sleepy. So I think I have to put her to bed, but I hope I explained everything well enough for you. Lastly, I would really just say that if you had an option of breastfeeding or exclusively pumping, I would hands down say that breastfeeding is the easier route. Um, I know that it's not uh, an option for everybody, but if you did have the option, I would pick breastfeeding any day. And although breastfeeding is your um, a one-man job, that one-man job is way easier than um, having to put yourself on a schedule and pump even when your baby is sleeping um, So I hope you enjoyed this video. I know it's um, not like the usual ones I post But I just wanted to help out any moms out there struggling to get their baby to relax mm. again mm. Mm. Say bye-bye Say bye-bye Sorry, I did not write out a script so I don't know if I made any sense mm. <laughs> but I hope you enjoyed this video and let me know if any of these tips worked for you and your baby. Say bye bye. Bye bye.